Hey everybody, it's me Chris. I'm back over here in the kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a classic French omelette. And probably one of, if not my favorite way to eat eggs now since I've started making it. And it's really all about technique. I'm going to make an omelette that's really light and fluffy. And the idea is to just barely cook the eggs through so that they're set up. Uh, it's not going to be brown. There's no color on a French omelet and it's just absolutely delicious and it's all about technique So let me show you what I got here. I got a 10 inch good non-stick pan and my spatula here I got some butter. I'm going to show you too. I got a little bit of shredded finely shredded cheese and I have my eggs These are smaller eggs, so I'm going to use four eggs and I'm not even going to use any salt I'm just going to use a little bit of uh, fresh cracked pepper and you'll be amazed if you if you try this you you won't even need the salt it's really something about this technique it makes the egg almost taste more like an egg it's absolutely delicious so I'm just gonna crack my eggs for and you want to crack your eggs on a flat surface so I use the inside of the bowl and that'll ensure that it cracks easily and that you don't break the yolk all right so I got four eggs in the bowl and Here's where you would add some salt if you want it. Again, I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to use some fresh cracked pepper. And that's all I need. Now, the other key to this is you want to mix really, really well. I'll break the yolks first and start to aggressively beat the eggs. You want them completely broken down in one homogenous mixture. Okay, so I got my pan heating up here, and I just want to show you, this is going to happen really, really quick. So before I start to make the omelet, I got it on about medium heat. I want to show you the technique. And what we want to do is break down the egg curds as small as possible. So I'm going to do that by moving my spatula all the time, and by sliding the pan gently back and forth to move the eggs. And you'll see how that comes together. Alright, so your pan is hot, and you got to use the right amount of butter here. Alright, so i got about two tablespoons of butter and I just want to let that completely melt before I start to make the omelet. Alright so my butter's melted. I want to give my eggs one last final mix and into the pan. Now immediately I want to start shaking the pan and moving my spatula. I want to make sure that I'm breaking down the egg curds as small as they could possibly get. And you'll see it start to come together. And then every few seconds, I'll go around the edge of the pan to scrape off, give it a chance to set up a little more. And you'll see it's going to start getting thicker and thicker. And again, just keep moving the pan. And again, this is not an easy technique. You really got to try it a couple times to get it. You don't want to make a big mess. And I'll go around the edge again. And you can see it's starting to set up pretty good for me. I think one more series of mixing. Come around the edge again. And you see this is only going to take about maybe a minute. Now it's starting to get solidified. So at this point I don't want to let it go too far. Okay, it's still a little bit runny. So now take what's left, push it down to the end of the pan. Okay, so this, this is just the thinnest part here and most of the egg is pushed down to the edge of the pan. And once I've got that, I'm gonna set it back down. You notice I lifted it off the fire. I'm gonna set the pan back down. Just let it set for a minute. Okay, and now I'll pick up the pan again. I'll shut the heat and I can start to roll the omelet down. And you're looking for that couple things the half moon shape and you're looking to see that there's no color here you can see this is very very pale it's just barely cooked now you switch your grip put your hand underneath the handle and then bang the pan and you can see that the omelet will come to the edge and you're ready to unmold it so just use your spatula to help and then flip it and roll it over okay so you can have a nice tube shape and you can tuck it in a little bit now this is gonna sit for about three to five minutes you don't want to eat it yet you want to let it continue to set up 
It's a little bit runny inside, but it'll continue to cook and you'll be ready to eat it in about three to five minutes. Okay, one more time, I'm gonna show you how to make the cheese version of the classic French omelet. So same thing, I got my nice hot nonstick pan and I'm gonna start to work the eggs, keep the pan moving, keep your spatula moving. You want as small a curds as possible around the edge. And once you get a few of these done, it's only gonna take you about a minute to make. Okay, keep going. I can see it's starting to set up now. Okay, now I'm gonna move my eggs down to the edge. Notice I lift, once I feel like it's set up enough, I lift the pan from the heat so that I don't get any color on the bottom. I don't wanna brown it. I wanna just barely cook through. Okay. Same as I did before, okay? The pan is lifted off of the heat. Now, to finish the omelet, I'll set it back down again to set like I did. The only difference here is I'm gonna add my shredded cheese. And you wanna finely shredded cheese so that it melts easily. Okay, so literally 10 seconds set back down on the, on the burner and I'm ready to roll again, okay? Again, that half moon shape, I'm gonna switch my grip, tap the handle, and I'll use my spatula to help to get it unmolded to the edge of the pan and then turn it over, okay? So this got a little bit of brown coloring. If I was working in a fresh re French restaurant, they'd fire me, but we're not, so I'm okay. And there you go, you have another perfect French style omelet with a cheese filling. All right, so take a look. This, this the plain omelet has set up and I'm ready to cut it open. You can see there's, there's no browning on top. You just see the specks of pepper. Um, and now if you were a, an apprentice in an old French restaurant, this would be one of the tests they would give you to be able to make an omelet. And I would have actually failed because you see these lines here, these are called pleats. The, the pros would look at that and say that it wasn't prepared properly because it should be completely smooth. So good thing I'm not a professional chef, but I just want to cut this open and you can see it's no longer runny. It's just set up enough. It's just, just barely cooked through. So it's super tender and creamy. All right, and now this is the one we prepared with the cheese. Should be just about set up. And you can see, same thing. You see the, the melted cheese there. Very, very fluffy and light and creamy. Now I gotta give this a try. That plain omelet came out absolutely perfect. I'm gonna try this one with the cheese. And you can see my pan just got slightly a little bit hot. There's a tiny bit of browning but it's still going to be really light and fluffy and creamy. Mm. It's absolutely delicious. And you won't believe how light, creamy, and tender the eggs are. You really, if you've not made this or had it somewhere, you've never really tasted an egg before. I gotta tell you, it's my favorite way to eat eggs. Go ahead and watch uh, my video. Try to make a classic French omelet at home. It's gonna take you a few tries. To, you know, the technique is not that easy, but I think you're really gonna love it. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching the video.